this is a new thing we got going here. I now get the Monster Bass National Box. I still get the regional one, but this one is the national one. I'm not really quite sure what to expect, um, but let's crack it open and see what's inside. All right. So first up here, we've got the Arc TS-115. This is a floating four and a half inch bait. Let's crack this thing open. This is top water. And this is actually a pretty, okay, so this color is pretty cool. Uh, floating, 11 sixteenths ounce, and they call this black and blue. All right, so what really draws me to this color is this color is pretty close to what they have that they call Black Magic and um, Sixth Sense. There we go. There's just the faintest blue right here. Let's see. Let me use my flashlight and see if I can light this up just a little bit more. Whoa. Kind of too bright. Okay, yeah, that didn't really help. But there's a subtle dark blue down the side of it that's kind of got like a... See, if I roll it, it'll catch the light for the camera. Super subtle. So that's that's pretty cool. Let's check this thing out a little bit more. Uh, top water slider performs wider side to side walking action for while well maintaining castability. Three number four premium treble hooks, including a feathered one. All right, cool. Yeah, so this thing actually has the EWG style treble hooks, which I love. It has a feathered hook, which is great, and it's EWG, so that might be the greatest hook in this box, but who knows yet. Um, let's just let that rattle. That's a great sound. I need to use topwater walking baits a lot more. Um, I just haven't got that confidence and that comfortability in them yet. But I'm definitely going to throw this thing more. Um, so even if you fish clear water, guys, and it's not just stained, you can run this blue black. Just run it like early morning time to like maybe an evening time. Because this is blue black at those times in clear water. It's maximum silhouette. Okay. It's maximum. Oh, the bass is going to be like, oh, what's that? Why is that so dark? So they're just going to, they're going to come right for it. So this, ow, sharp hooks. Um, this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to have to play with and experiment with and just get that confidence up with walking baits. Because this is, this is cool. Let's see if we can get that blue to light up there again. Yeah, it's super subtle, but it's just enough. And of course, you stained, got stained water guys, you tannic water guys. You know about that blue black magic. That's that's cool. Um, what do we got here? We got the six stick, uh, slick stick one ten. Wow, I can't talk. It's a half ounce jerk bait, so it's gonna be suspending all that good stuff. Um, this is the monster bass version. Um, uh, razor sharp BKK hooks and premium paint. Four to six feet. So it's a standard depth for a 110 size jerk bait. Um, non EWG style, but it does have that leading red hook. And if you guys don't know about that leading red hook, it'll. How do I say this? It's supposed to convince the fish to strike forward on it. So, worst comes to worst, if you jerk it, they're already striking forward because they think it's wounded up here. And worst comes worst, they're going to grab one of these two. I'm not sure if I totally believe the red hook thing. Um, a lot of my crankbaits get smashed on that front hook anyway. And not all of them have a red hook. So, I don't know. But this, this looks wicked. This is cool. And I'm getting ready to start throwing a lot of white. Because white is one of my favorite colors. And for whatever reason, trout like jerk baits out here. I I don't know how to explain it. It's like it mesmerizes them. If you take a uh, especially in the spring, if you take like a like 110 size jerk bait in the lakes here 
and you throw it out there, all the smaller trout, they can't, they can't take it, and they're not dumb enough to hit it, because the size between, like, an, like, an eight-inch trout and four-and-a-half-inch jerk bait, um, <coughs> but you'll, you'll watch them, and you just jerk it right up to the side of the boat, pull it all the way in, and there'll just be a bunch of trout just hovering there around it, looking at it. It's, it's bizarre. They, they just love jerk baits, and actually, my, my PB rainbow trout in a lake was caught on a jerk bait. Not the species I was going for, but it happened, and it was fun. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, I love spinners. Uh, I love spinners. I love spoons. I love all things with spinning. Nice things. Okay. So let's just crack this thing open. So this is a Vicious Fishing Tournament Series Spin Doctor. 3 8 ounce white, which is great. It's got that painted top blade, too. Let's, let's get this guy out of here. Let's check this thing out in detail. I'm super excited about this, actually. Um, check these willow blades out. Okay, blah, 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 must set hook, and they're designed to be awesome. Well, it's the spinner. It's already awesome. But let's check this thing out. Okay, so the lower blade, the lower willow, which, by the way, this is double willow, so this is a shallow guy. Um, lower willow has kind of got like a... I wouldn't even say that it's like paint. It's almost like it's been like pitted. It doesn't appear to be any type of glitter, just something there to break up the color. Now the white blade, that does have a heavy glitter in it. And that's cool, that's a white blade. It's got this nice spacer in between them. I wonder if I accidentally bent that when I was taking that out of the box or if that part is supposed to be bent like that. Interesting. Anyway, must that hook. 3 8 ounce body with a nice eye. Check that out. Stout mustad. Check out their hook keeper. Okay, so this is a place where I could gripe on this. There is no keeper on this. Sort of annoying, but you would think on a tournament grade bait that they would have some sort of bait holder or keeper on there, but they don't. Although it is a hand tied skirt, which is nice. It's a really nice skirt. Um, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but there's actually flake inside this. And don't mind my hands, that's just undercoat from work off of a truck that is now semi-permanently jammed underneath my fingers right now. But yeah, this is this is nice. Super nice. I like this a lot. Okay, let's move on before I sit here and talk about this for a while longer. Actually. Oh, look at that. Okay, talk about serious hardware. Even if I don't end up liking the rest of this bait, that is a ball bearing swivel. On that top blade. So this thing's going to spin awesome. And this is going to flutter. <coughs> and that's that's one of those premium pieces of hardware. That I feel really makes or breaks. A good spinner. And if I could. I would only have ball bearings swivel. Um, ball bearings on the blades. Because it's just. It's effortless. There's less drag. Actually with the ball bearing swivel. Versus a standard swivel. You're, you probably wouldn't notice it casting it, but whatever. I'm just going to stop talking about that right now. All right. Biobait infused with fish oil, new patent Florida uh, formula, never dries out, blah, blah, blah. And, oh, it's a rip bag. Okay, just crack that thing open there. Open this part up. Oh, it is. It's really, it's really, really oily in here. It does have a really fishy smell. You know what? These are like imitation leeches. That's awesome, guys. 
Okay, you can't really see it here. Because it's so dark. So it's it's like a flatworm. Okay. I am going to use these definitely 100%. Worst comes to worst, I can throw these on my silver spoons. But they are oily. Definitely not something to leave in the heat because that fish oil is just can kind of smell bad. You can wacky rig it, you can tube it, you can leave weedless it, or you can swim bait it. But it does not say to put it on the back of a spoon, which would be a game changer. I can't believe that's on the back of this. And it's USA made. Okay, so for those of you that live somewhere where you can either buy leeches or you can catch leeches, you get why this could be exciting for somebody that can't get leeches. Because we still have northern pike up here. We still have tiger muskies up here. And we still have all the other like smaller stuff that would hit on this, like walleye and such. But I cannot buy leeches. I've never found leeches at the store. And I've never found a place that was leechy, if that makes sense. For, for those of you that have never fished for any of those things, or never used leeches, that, think, that just think leeches are nasty, ignore this part. But those of you guys that know about the power of the leech, you know. And this is cool, so check that out. Bio bait. That's... Oh, I wish I had a name of this bait on here. Was it on the tag I ripped off? No. That's cool, though. That's going directly in the box. All right. Big Bite Baits. Okay, so I really like their stuff a lot more all the time. Every time I get a new one of these... Oh, I didn't actually have to rip that off. Huh. I don't know why that's like that. Oh, well. Anyway, every time I get a Big Bites baits, bait, I like this company a lot more and more. So this is called a Kamikaze Swim On. Four and a quarter inches, smoky gold is what they call this color. Okay. So that's, okay. That's like a swim bait. This would be an awesome trailer for this, actually. This is really, really neat. Okay, so it's got this upper rib portion. It's got a beefier body, but it's got this jointed tail section, kind of like a uh, Z-Man Razor Shad. So it can waggle. And it's super, super soft. This is, this is a really neat bait. I really feel like Big Bite Baits is slept on. This is cool. This is actually really, really cool. I'm going to, I definitely want to do this now. That's something I want to do. Put that on there. That would be perfect. All right, let's move on before I go back to talking about spinners or leeches or big bite baits. I, yeah. Got Daiichi, what size are these? Four aught, three of these. These look slightly lighter wire. You definitely, I mean, you could Texas rig this. No doubt in my mind. You could swim this if you wanted to. You could Texas rig this if you wanted to. See? Right there. Bam. Texas rig. Seems a little thin to me. I'm not sure. Oh, that would actually be really cool weightless. I take that back. Oh, well, I guess that's just normal. Actually, the finish on this, the red finish, isn't quite perfect. Which is fine. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, really. But these seem, oh, yeah, these are a little bit lighter wire. I wonder if these are like a finesse more for this. Which would make a lot of sense. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, throw this in 
here, just like that. Yeah, so that's cool. A light wire hook like that. I like that. Oh, okay, there's the tournament card. Bite me. Okay, so this is a cool sticker. I really like that. That's going to go in my crankbait box. I like stickers. Don't ask me why. Monster Bass, $10 to spend in the store. Sweet. And you get, when you, when you get the Monster Bass box, um, $10 off your next purchase. Okay. So my boxes, my, my, my previous Monster Bass boxes, they had a booklet that explained everything. I wonder if, because I've never had the national box, I've always had the regional box. So I wonder if this is a difference. Um, there's my golden ticket. Uh, here, let me grab my phone real quick and check this out. Because it's not really going to show up that well. Learn about my box. I didn't really drop to a link. Anyway. Yeah, it directs you directly to it. Okay, so that's really cool. <clears throat> now, I know my regional box this month, I believe, is all about the Ned Rig. So that's super duper exciting. Now, the national box appears to not be themed like the regional boxes are. So that's something to keep in mind if you decide to sign up for Monster Bass Box. But I believe this box, the regional box, is $20 a month. I'm, I'm not upset. Okay. I mean, okay, I got three hooks. Can't really count a value on that, whatever. Okay. Just automatically assume both of these are eight bucks. All right. Just assume that. Just agree that this is probably a ten dollar spinner. Okay, so this is twenty six dollars value, and then you throw the plastics in. Say each one of these is six bucks. Okay, there's another twelve. Okay, so that's thirty eight dollars worth of value for twenty bucks a month. I mean, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm obviously not sponsored by Monster Bass because that'd be really, really cool. Or Mr. Tackle Box. There's no way I'd be sponsored by both of them and Six Cents. But I still get all their I get all their stuff because I love the boxes. Um, because this is how I get tackle besides the very few things that I order specifically or the new base that I see that I want specifically. This is all stuff that I probably normally would not buy because I'd walk through the aisle and I would be like, oh, look, a white spinner. I would not buy this because I literally have a whole entire box of spinners. And I would be like, oh, I don't need another one. But I got another one. Not even mad about that. Or if you're starting out fishing, this is perfect. Why not? You know? Um, or... Even like, because you get the soft plastics in all the boxes, whatever. Um, it's like restocking with new stuff that you probably wouldn't normally buy. Yeah, so sometimes the colors might suck a little bit. But realistically, all the colors that I get in all my boxes are solid. But the Monster Bass boxes, the, the one thing I will say that I like more about this Monster Bass box than I like about the MTD, or MTB box Okay, everything in this box is specifically put in here to go together, to complete, like, you, you could do a whole trip out of this. I'm not saying that you couldn't do a whole trip out of this, but this comes with basically everything to fish everything in this box every time, especially the regional box, because this is the perfect trailer for this. You can fish this weightless, which would be really awesome because it's like a leech. And then you've got top water, and then you've got suspending. Okay. 
I'm not knocking MTD or MTB box. I really love my trout box and I really love the bass box. But my biggest gripe about that box is that you never get jig heads. My biggest gripe about that box. Well, I can't really say it's the biggest gripe, but. No, I can't really say that I have too much of a gripe. It's just, like that might. Panfish and trout is probably my favorite box, but. It makes me mad there's hardly ever jig heads in it, except for this month we got a bunch of cool things with jig heads. So, they're absolved from that. I don't know if they've been watching my channel. Um, but the Monster Bass box, dude, th this is a good box. It's good value. Um, yeah. I mean, all of them are good. I, I love my Sixth Sense uh, Six Sack because I get, I get Sixth Sense baits. And you can't, unless you order it off of line, I've never seen Six Sense Baits in a store, okay? Um, Tackle Warehouse sells them, and Six Sense sells them, all right? Plus, I like the quality of that product. Be I like that because I like that product. This is because it's well thought out, and it if you get something in here, it goes with something else in this box, or it's a standalone item, like the jerk bait or the walking bait. It's just good stuff. It's just really good stuff, and that's great too. I can't really knock on any of them, and I enjoy all of them. Um, I've rambled on for long enough after finishing this up. This video really should not have taken 22 minutes. But if you made it this far, when I get to 250 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway. Um, I'm going to throw neat things in there, um, but if, and this is for the continental U.S. thing, guys, because I'm still trying to ship the package to Australia, and I ain't quite figured that out yet, but, um, yeah, get the 250, I'll do a continental giveaway, continental United States giveaway of some baits, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, or I should say the Seattle-ish area-ish, it's a big area. Um, we'll all come up with something kind of really cool. Um, yeah, tight lines, guys, and I'll catch you next time.